Hi everybody, coming to you live today from the Olive Grove. I'm here to talk to you about really what, what stops flow and what starts flow. There's something I'm seeing recently that I think will be helpful to those of you that are feeling stuck, that are struggling to get things going in your business. For those of you that are already coaching clients and sometimes find yourselves under pressure with where the conversation should go, this will really help you. I'm really wanting to share with you about what I'm seeing stops flow and starts flow. So let's get straight in. What I want to share with you is that what I see as really, really stopping flow, is really getting in the way of that easy conversation, whether it's when you're coaching or when you're selling or when you're marketing or when you're just being in the flow of life, is when we get into self-evaluation. So many of the clients I work with, that's their only struggle, that's their biggest struggle. And I'm here with my dog today, so you'll see him here, Hatchy. <laughs> he's listening to us as we go but that's the biggest struggle you know um, we get into this evaluation of self and we get into this evaluation of who we should be or what we should say next or what we should do next and it literally takes us out of the moment it takes us out of the present moment to me being in flow is all about being in the present moment. It's all about letting that experience come through you and run through you. It's letting wisdom have its way with you. And so oftentimes what happens is when we're starting to get caught up in our head about ourselves in particular, we can take ourselves out of flow in the sense that we start focusing on ourselves. We start focusing on how we're doing. So if you ever notice that you just start feeling uncomfortable or self-conscious, you can guarantee that you've started measuring yourself. You've started falling out of the flow and into how are you doing? How are you measuring up? There's a lot of self-evaluation goes on. It's, there's a lot of comparison goes on. And when we pay attention to that level of thinking, we take ourselves away from the present moment. We take ourselves out of the ideas that we have. We take ourselves away from flow. So that's what stops flow. Here's what starts flow. Being so less interested in how you're measuring up in how you're doing and being so much more interested in being of service. So that's a tough one. I'm not saying that lightly. You know, there have been times when I've sat with clients and now and again, it has struck me that, um, you know, we can get lost in thought about how are we getting it right? Are we going in the right direction? Are we doing it right? And truly that moves us away from the wisdom, the wisdom that's available to us, the wisdom that's within. So what starts flow is paying more attention to that wisdom, paying more attention to what's coming to you in the moment, paying more attention to the service you can provide and the person in front of you and the idea that you've got, as opposed to uh, paying attention to the content of your mind that's all about you that's wondering how you're doing so I really love to hear from you and know what you're hearing in this one does this resonate have you noticed in your own life or your own business that you come out of flow the moment you start focusing on how you're doing and what your behaviors are that's another huge one I see with my clients it's like there's sometimes they're so innocently focused on their behaviors and their habits that they're constantly identifying with something and if you if you keep looking for more things to identify with you're continuously still looking at how you're doing you're wondering how you're measuring up that was huge for me at one point you know I used to get really caught up in um, my habits and I thought that there was a way to to 
to behave in order to be successful. So I went on this road of reading all the right books and implementing all the successful habits. But the problem with that was when I wasn't doing that, when I wasn't engaging that, I was beating myself up for not doing it. I was very focused on identifying with my behavior. And traditional psychology, traditional coaching looks at that, sort of promotes that. What I'm sharing here goes beyond that level of thought. It's really getting beyond your psychology, getting beyond your habits and who you think you are and coming back into the present moment and sharing from a place of groundedness and wisdom marketing and selling from that place, coaching from that place, because it's from that place that really the flow is available for you. There's no flow to be found in judgmental thinking. There's no flow to be found in critical thinking. And there's absolutely no flow in continuously evaluating yourself. So give yourself a break today. Take the focus off all the thinking you have that revolves around you and you'll see the flow open up. You'll see yourself move into that beautiful, graceful space of opportunity, ideas and flow. Tell me what you hear in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. What's your big takeaway on this one? And I'll speak to you soon. Bye from the Olive Grove. Ciao.